Hello, in this video we're going to cover the string object within Coca 2DX C++. I'm using version 3.7 but anything above version 3 for Cocos will be a-okay for this tutorial. So let's get started. A string object within Cocos 2D is very similar to the string object in the standard namespace in C++ aka std colon colon string. It, it like I said is very similar but it has some more functionality different functionality and a lot of the methods and other functionality within cocos uses the string object within cocos so it's recommended that you know how to use this one of the i would say core fundamentals when developing with cocos though it's not as fundamental as something like a scene or a layer you will use strings a lot if you're creating any sort of game or application using cocos to create a string you need to do cocos 2d i have got the namespace include for cocos 2d but i'm just for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just going to leave the namespace in so you are defo certain what you need to do underscore underscore string you might be wondering why haven't they just called it string and the reason is if they did just call it string and you were to use namespace and just do string there's already objects that are called string within C++ and for that reason they've done underscore underscore string because it used to be called CC string in version 2 of Cocos but they deprecated all of that, they removed all the prefixes and they've changed them to either something like sprite or underscore underscore string or underscore underscore integer if there was something already within the engine or something that might conflict it in the future because something like C++ or Objective-C or something like that will have a higher precedence, let's, let's be frank, than the engine built on top of it in terms of naming. So underscore underscore string, just do asterisk, I'm going to call this string1 equals to cocos 2 d underscore underscore string colon colon create. There are four different create methods. There's the plain old create and in here you just simply specify a string in quotation marks we'll show you that in a second let's create with contents of file in here you specify a file so it could be some sort of text file it could be a p list that sort of stuff and let's create with data so you use, specify the data and the length of that data as well and then there's create with format so that allows you to mix in variables into your string we're going to be dealing with the create and create with format because those are generally the generally the two most popular ones that you will be using so first of all let's just do create and for this i'm just going to put quotation marks hello space i'm going to create a new string cocos 2d underscore underscore string call it string 2 equals cocos 2d underscore underscore string colon colon create and for this, I'm just going to call it world. So as you can see, we've got hello and world. And what we're going to do is create a third string. We're going to do cocos 2 d underscore underscore string. And for this, I'm going to call this mega string. And in this string, we're going to combine these two together using the create with format. Format equals cocos 2 d underscore underscore string colon colon create and for this we're just going to put quotation marks percent s and then percent s again so this these two percent s's dictate that we we are putting a value or an object of string inside our constructor and this should actually be create with format sorry like so so we need to actually specify the data the object so just do comma string one comma string two we're going to get a warning and if i just click on the warning say format specifies type char asterisk but the argument has type cocos 2d colon colon underscore underscore string asterisk so we've specified a cocos string object but it takes a char and we'll show you how to fix that in a second but before that we're going to show you how to actually print it out and what happens if you don't fix it. So log, I'm gonna do quotation marks, percent F, I'm gonna do mega string, and to get the string, you need to do get 
C string. So this gets the character string, which is what we need to do here. But we'll just show you what happens if we don't. So nothing has been printed out simply because we haven't created it properly. So if we do get C string, get C string, run this now. As you can see, it says hello world, and we're just printing out the mega string, but it contains string one and two. But I'm going to show you what happens if we were to remove the get C string from here. So all the string objects are constructed fine. We're printing it out. We are actually printing out the string object instead of a character. Again, we get nothing. So you got to make sure you have the get C string when dealing with strings within Cocos. This right here isn't just confined to Cocos strings or strings in general. I could put for example, I'm going to put percent i, which is an integer. So obviously it's moaning because it's saying string one, get c string is not an integer. We know that. So I'm just going to put 47. Like hitman 47. Just run this now. And it will say 47 world exclamation mark. So you go, it says 47 world exclamation mark. You can do floats with f, you can do decimal with d. You can do a bunch of stuff within the create with format. It's the same as you doing a log here, or if you've used C before, it's the same as if you're using print F. So I'm actually just gonna change this back. So now we've got that, I'm just gonna leave, there we go, I'm gonna leave that as it is. I'm gonna show you some of the other methods that are within the Cocos 2D string object. So what I'm gonna do is create another string I'm going to call this string, string equals cocos 2 d underscore underscore string, colon, colon, create. And I'm just going to put the number 2 in there. And there are a bunch of methods for string. So if I just do this, we, we have double value. String is a set of characters, but if, for example, we had a value in there that was a float or an integer or a double, but it was as a string, we can can actually get that numeric value, which is really cool. All we have to do is just do float value uh, or get int value. There's also a bool value as well, so let's just find out that would be b, so a lot higher up, right there. And you've obviously seen how to get a string get C string. So before this, I'm just gonna log out. Log. So I'm gonna do percent F. So this takes a float uh, parameter. String. And as you can see, it's throwing a warning. It's saying double, but the argument has type cocos to the string. So all we do is to flute value, run this in our simulator, and I just want to show you how cool this is. As you can see, it says 2.000000, but we only put 2.2 in there, so it was only a string that was basically only an integer, but we used the float value method, which allowed us to get the number, and it turned it into a float even though it wasn't in the string. So this is great. Obviously if you try and do this with characters, it's gonna mess up, so don't do that. Only use the float value or bool value or int value if you know it's a number or a boolean. I'm not gonna show you the others, they're pretty self-explanatory. Let's just show you what other methods we got. Okay, we're gonna do another log. So log, I'm gonna comment this out for now. And I'm going to do percent i string. So we're going to get the length. So this is how many characters there are in our string. So I'm going to put hello. You know what? I'm going to use a mega string. We've already constructed it. There's no point changing stuff up when we've already got it all done.
So we say it's 12, so let's just count this a second. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So as you can see, it includes spaces well because it's characters. It's not letters, not numbers, it's actual characters. So it's printed at the length. Let's show you what other methods we got. We got mega string. But then here we can compare different objects as well. So is it equal to? And that's generally what you're going to be dealing with. We've got the unsigned int value, so it's like int, but it's it's positive numbers only. And apart from that, there are just other methods that we're not going to really need. There's append as well. So it's going to show you the append method briefly. So where was it? Where was it? I, I, there we go. So in here, I'm just going to put. Oh yeah, Duffman. And I'm just going to log out. Percent s mega string. Remember, got to get c string. So it says hello world for the first log, which is just logging out the constructed mega string. Then it just says 12 for the length. Then it says hello world. Oh yeah, Duffman. It's appended that bit of text at the end of it. And you might be thinking, can I actually mix and match it? So could I put a string here? You can indeed. So if you want to put a string one, so you want to hello again, this is going to give me an error. So we need to do get C string. Pretty much always you're going to be doing get C string. So that's just something to get used to. And you can see it says hello world, hello. And you can go even further than that. You can do underscore underscore string, colon, colon, create. You can even create it within here because it's essentially the same thing. You create with format. So for this, I'm just going to do percent i, comma, 67, times point 0.8. Oh, sorry. I need to do get c string. I'm trying to print out the string object or append the string object, let's say. And now let's just let this load. So we got hello world 536. So we had the hello world text from the mega string construction. Then we did 67 times by 8, which is 536. And that was appended to the mega string. And the final method we're going to show you is the is equal. So we're going to simply do log. percent i so it's just going to show an integer mega actually I'm not even going to do that I'm going to do if string 1 is equal to string 2 then log out equal else log out not equal so let's just run this bad boy in our simulator and it will say not equal because hello space does not equal world exclamation mark so it says not equal what I'm going to do is just change this so it's the same as the string one so let's just run this now And you can see it says equal. So this is a great way of comparing instead of gaining the C string and start doing other comparisons like that. So that's how you do it. There's no reason why string one is here. I, I could have easily put this as string two and put this as string one. It's that simple, obviously. Like I said, you can really go crazy, start constructing stuff in here. So you can start doing underscore underscore string, colon, colon, create. I'm just gonna keep it simple, create. I'm going to put hello and this will say equal because we have a string object which is equal to the string to object so there we go it is that simple so we've covered the string object within Cocos 2DX C++ if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk 
forward slash question dot php there will be a link in the description to that so you don't need to remember it please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free plus it also helps us provide more tutorials to you and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day